What the hell was that? Whoa, whoa. No. No, like as soon as that mound, dude. Yeah, people think that's the green man. About to walk over this pentagram. Hey, oh my God, I just heard a growl, bro. I swear when we first came up though, I did see a face at the top of it. She's really feeling a super heaviness right now. Can you show us where the green man is? <gasps> Tucked back in the mountains of Pennsylvania sits the Corvette Tunnel and the Green Man's Tunnel. Today we traveled many miles away to come visit the Green Man, or the legend of the Green Man. In this beautiful mountain sits these creepy tunnels with a very haunting history. Right there you're looking at the Corvette Tunnel. They say that a man in his Corvette crashed in there burned and died. Just feet away to the far left on the other side of this tunnel sits the green man's tunnel up a little higher. They say that that man was electrocuted and he now haunts that tunnel. They say after he was electrocuted it melted his face so sometimes you can see him appear faceless. What's up guys Jody Dean here Mr. Hunting the Dead. Right now we are next to beep or die aka the Green Man Tunnel. Me and Erica have traveled far up here to come unveil the legend of Green Man's Tunnel. What? Oh, it's full of salt. That's crazy. I'm curious of what that means. I don't know if it's a gang around here or something, but it was inside that abandoned house, too. We're getting ready to enter Green Man's Tunnel, and I'm about to walk over this pentagram. There's lots of pentagrams, satanic sigils, energy, death, history, urban legend surrounding this tunnel and it's full of salt. So if you guys know like me, salt is used for purification and could keep the negative away from here. But there is something here and people say that it's the green man. It's funny, somebody attempted to make a green man right here. Yeah. You feel anything around here? Right at the top of that sand. Hill. At the top? Yes, sir. Hell, there's been like a million people. Me and Eric are going to try and walk up this saw. Holy. I hope we don't get stuck in here. Yeah, me too. That would suck. Oh, sh Oh, this is creepy. Yeah, this would be creepy to do at night. Oh, oh my Jesus. God. Dude. I'm like, I'm nervous. Oh, you can see over. We just drove about 45 minutes to get here from where we're staying at in Pennsylvania. And uh, I'm glad we did. This was definitely worth it to see this, witness this. We're gonna do a spear box session up here on top of the salt in this tunnel surrounded by all this energy and years of history here in just a moment. Okay guys, so we are up here at the top of the tunnel and Erica said she's really feeling a super heaviness right now and I am too. It's more than claustrophobia up here. I think all this salt is definitely contributing to the energy here and what's going on. How do you feel? Heavy feeling, really heavy. It's hard to breathe. Hard to breathe? Yeah, the further back I get. I swear when we first came up though, I did see a face at the top of this thing. I swear to God I did. I believe it. What the f Bro, what the hell was that? Dude, whoa, whoa! No, 
Oh, somebody just threw something from the other side of the tunnel. Hello? Is there someone over there? Hello? No, like as soon as that mound, dude, something tossed them. Dude, there was something on the right and the left. Oh, shit. Hey, oh my god, I just heard a growl, bro. I just heard a growl. Oh, man. And it doesn't make sense because there is a lot of salt in here. I mean, we are talking about the biggest amount of salt I have ever seen, guys. It's at least 12 foot high. Yeah, at least. You can barely see the tunnel. But as soon as you hit that mound of salt, man, something doesn't want you back there. Do you want to come speak in our cameras? Shit, we're not going to hear it with that. You guys will hear all the people honking at the Corvette tunnel that's next. The reason they're doing that is because... What the f Oh, those are gunshots, yeah. okay. The reason people are honking over there is because it's like some kind of tradition or some kind of good luck thing to honk when you go into the Corvette tunnel because Erica was telling me some guy actually died there in his Corvette one night. It, it's glowing green on my camera in the corner. It's glowing green? It's glowing green. I'm not even sure. That does not look like what... Something over on the right. It's, it's legit glowing. It does not look like that. I kind of see what you're talking over. about. Oh, shit. I'm not going to say that. Okay, that was a car. That was a car. Yeah, <laughs> the way the car too. came around the bend over there. All right, so here's something I definitely want to say. All right, so if somebody was in here, they could think it was a voice if that car came around that bend. Yeah. Because it echoed through. It almost sounded like a growl. Yeah. But I did legitly capture a growl just a little bit ago. It was after the salt. Yeah. Alright. I guess we're going back further, guys. Is the wind blowing on your end? A little bit. It's really cold right here. Like, it's legit cold. I want to get where you're at because... It feels like it's like 10 degrees colder right here. I'm a big guy, so it's a little harder for me to move. Eric is 5'2". I'm 5'9". This is rock solid. I'm inching my way. Why is it glowing green now? I don't know, but I feel what you're saying. Yeah. <gasps> oh man, that's like freezing cold. That's what, what I said. It's cold. So you weren't just saying just in general, like this yeah. this whole mound of salt here is like yes. freezing. Here's a nickel. Guys, this tunnel is crazy. And like I almost want to come back here at night. I'm thinking that maybe me and Erica tomorrow night's my last night here in Pennsylvania. I'm thinking maybe we come early enough where we get here right before dark. Just so we can say we experienced and it, experienced it in the dark. Yeah. What do you think? I you think, think it'd be worth the back. forty minute drive? Oh yeah. And then me and her could come up here, do the same thing we're doing here now, just feeling it out and see what the difference is. And maybe it'll be less windy too. Yeah. We want to see the green man. Is he here? I'm not hearing nothing. Again, can we speak to the green man, please? <laughs> Mr. Green Man, tell me you're here. Did you die here?
Okay, so I just did a spirit box session and for like the first time in a long time, I absolutely caught nothing at all. But I'll say this, there is so much here that I don't even think the people that put the salt here, I don't even think they realized, like, I don't think they had any idea how magical salt is for clearing negative things out, for clearing energy out, for purification. So in other words, this tunnel, I believe that something haunts it, but I believe that it's it's been cleansed because this is a purification to it. So maybe it's not in the tunnel where all the activity happens. Maybe it's the green man coming out of the tunnel when he's ready to be seen. So we may very well have to come back here at night. Erica was saying that where was something like this when we were kids? And I agree, man. Like this is... This is so, so cool. And down there towards the end, you can see how that green hits the tunnel there. I wonder if maybe at night or sometimes even during the day, if people think that's the green man, just seeing that green there. Cause like, if you look through the corner of your eye, it'd be easy to think that maybe somebody was standing down there. And with that green tint, you could think that was the green man. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I do believe it's haunted though, but me and Erica both believe that it's nothing malicious. Yeah, nothing bad. I keep hearing what sounds like somebody walking up here towards us and then they're gone. Now the wind's blowing strongly, but I mean, it's not like blowing up in here to make those kind of noises. It sounds like I footsteps. I just heard it. You heard it I too? I swear to God I did. I just heard that. It sounds like they're at the bottom of the salt. Walking up the salt. Yeah. yeah. Dude. Erica just found what looks to be like something somebody was making in here. Like they took a piece of silver and was running salt over it to make like a salt necklace. but. Yeah. This is cool, like, there's like whole big pieces of salt here. I told her I'm thinking about bringing a piece with me back from this trip. And I will pick one person out of the comments below to break this in half and send you a piece. I'll pay for the shipping and everything. So leave a really good comment and you might get a piece of this salt rock from Green Man's Tunnel. We were just sitting here talking and Erica was like, don't those look like claw marks? And they kind of they kind of do. I mean, I can see the rebar in there and stuff, but at first glance, like when you turn and look at it, it's like, whoa. I'm going to use these real quick here in the tunnel. Could you cross the rods for yes? Don't cross them for no. Cross one for maybe. Can you show us where the green man is? <gasps> Holy bro. Sh where the green light was yes. at the end off to, on the off on to, the left. Yes, yes. On the all right, on it our just, right if we're looking the other way. Oh my god. Can you please come back around? Come on. All the way, please. Dude, instantly. And I felt such a shock, too. Here it comes. Wow. Is the green man real? If he's real, cross them for yes. Don't cross them for no. I feel them wanting to cross. Yeah. I feel like a tingle in both my hands. You gotta cross them all the way for yes. Okay, let's ask another question. Where is the green man? I'll ask again. Nothing that time. It's so funny. I feel like that took everything for it to point in that one direction. Mm -hmm. So final thoughts. Do you do you think there's a spirit lurking here? Yes. I think we should definitely come back at night. I really do. I think we'll see something. I agree. Do you feel like me? Like there's nothing evil here? No, there's nothing evil. I don't get a bad feeling at all. I just think he's lonely. I don't think very many people talk to the poor man. Right. But yeah, I don't get bad, bad vibes at all. When those rods just, uh, when, when the first question I ask is, can you show us where you are? And it pointed to the exact direction. How'd that make you feel? Uh, it scares the shit out of me. <laughs> I, I had a sense back there the whole time. When those rods pointed back there, that's enough for me. There's definitely something here. He's definitely back there. Working my way down this salty slope of haunted goodness. Mm -hmm. 
people honking at the Corvette tunnel for good luck. I just want to say, if you communicated with us, if it was the green man or whatever spirits communicated with us, I thank you very much. We appreciate you speaking, giving us the opportunity to honor you by recording your voices and sharing you with the world, with our platforms. So thank you so much. So Erica moves at the speed of a cheetah because I turned around and she was all the way up there. Say what up! What up? Whoa. Guys, if you're listening, if you could, smash that like button. If you don't mind, leave a comment below and share this on your social media. We're really going out on a limb for you here. Legitly. Uh, whoa. Huh. I'm not like, Erica? Yeah. Whoa, no way, are you up there? Yeah. Dude, I thought I'd just seen you to my, I thought you were just standing right there. Hey, there was just somebody standing there. I swear. Bro, there was just somebody standing over there with the pink shirt. No way. Like right here, like 15 feet away. Okay, what's up there? Oh, f guys. Train tracks? Are they cool looking? I'm coming. Okay, so hiked up that big ass steep hill to see these train tracks and where possibly the green man may have died, got electrocuted. They say that he got electrocuted and you can't see his face, he's faceless. They probably still have trains running through. Yeah. But yeah, this is the old boy here. Oh yeah. I'd have hated being the people working on this trucking up that every day. Oh Lord. That was a hike. Yeah, it was. Ooh, too. I'm worried to get about getting back down. I get up them easier than I get down. Yeah, maybe we should get some sleds. Okay guys, so we're wrapping up right now at Green Man's Tunnel. It was a lot of fun. Um, just being here was really cool. I mean, we didn't capture a whole lot of evidence, but um, just seeing it, exploring it, and, and getting some things was pretty awesome. Uh, we actually found out that people aren't honking because it's good luck. They're honking because the end of the tunnel is really tight. And if somebody's coming in on the opposite side, they want you to know they're coming through. That said, me and Erica very well may come back here tomorrow night. That's what I'm hoping for. Definitely smash that like, leave comments below, share this on all your social media. Grab your Hunting the Dead merchandise at htd4life.com. And uh, until the next one, guys, sweet nightmares.